So I was very familiar with it before I even moved to Japan. Obviously, it's better in Japan. Obviously. Minasan, konnichiwa, sukushitoke, yokaso. My name is Sky, and I am addicted to tea. Okay, but seriously, um, because I'm from the UK, we're pretty famous for drinking tea there, which is fine, and most people are addicted to tea in the UK. Moving to Japan made this worse for me. <laughs> My tea addiction is stronger than ever, and I'm okay with that. So today's video is about five of my favorite Japanese teas. So if you like videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, number one on my list is hojisha. So this I believe is green tea, but it's roasted in a different way. So it's a lot darker and it's a lot stronger in flavor. I like this cold or hot. I think it's one of those teas that I can drink it cold or I can drink it hot and it doesn't matter. It still tastes equally delicious to me. I can't even remember the first time I had it. Definitely in Japan. I will say I also like the fun other types of drinks that can be made with hojicha. I think Starbucks does like an iced hojicha frappuccino type drink. And I really like that. That's really, really nice. It's a bit sweet, but I think that's fine. It's one of those teas where I can literally enjoy it in any form that it comes in. I just really love it. It's one of my favorites for sure. Okay, number two, normal oi ocha. <laughs> and I say this because I know that there is a stronger flavor as well, which I like, but I find when I drink the strongest oi ocha, I feel really dehydrated after. So I kind of like the standard one, uh, which for those of you who don't know, it's green tea, just normal green tea. And I think it's the most popular bottled green tea in Japan. And I can see why I really, really like it. It's nothing beats it. I think it's the best flavor out of all of them. And I like hot green tea as well and hot oyocha, but I think I do prefer this one cold, which is quite rare. Typically I prefer most of my tea hot, but we'll get into that a bit more later. All right, number three, matcha green tea. Okay, matcha, in case you didn't know, has a pretty big worldwide fan base. Uh, even in the UK, most of my friends would just drink matcha tea. It's really, really popular. So I was very familiar with it before I even moved to Japan. Obviously, it's better in Japan. Obviously. Uh, I will say with matcha green tea, I can only drink this hot. And I don't know why. I just don't really like it cold. It, it just feels like it should be hot. So yeah, one of my favorites, but only when it's hot. It's just my opinion, it's just my taste. Okay, so the next one I have, number four, Mugi tea. I have a, f a pretty strange relationship with Mugi tea. To be honest, the first time I tried it, I absolutely hated it. It just felt like I was drinking coffee. I don't know why, it reminded me of coffee, and I like coffee, but I think because I knew this was tea, I just didn't like it that much. I like it now, but I only like it hot, which I know is kind of strange because pe people typically drink Mugi tea in the summer as a cold drink, which I just can't, I don't know why. It Maybe it's because it reminds me of coffee for some reason that I feel like I have to have it hot, but I also like cold coffee, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know. We like what we like. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. I want to like it cold because it does seem so refreshing, but I just can't drink it cold. I know. It's crazy. I'm sorry. I apologize for anybody that loves Moogie Tea. I wish I could be like you. I'm just not. All right, finally, number five, Sampin Tea. So I believe this is the tea that is the most popular in Okinawa and I actually think it's really difficult to find it anywhere else unless you go to like a special store that sells Okinawan food. Um, it is basically jasmine tea I think and I really like jasmine tea but I don't know there's something about sampin tea that just it, it's different. I love it I'm obsessed with it and I'm sad when I don't have it to the point where People go to Okinawa for the beaches, and I, I get that, it makes sense. I go to buy sampin tea and bring it home. <laughs> like, I can't explain why I like it so much, and I like it hot, and I like it cold. I just, it's my favourite tea. 
I don't know why. All right, guys, that is it. What did you think of this list? Are there any other teas that I haven't tried? And this is a really important question because I love tea and I need to know, like, what else should be on this list? Please, please let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.